Building with Papa. Okay, I'm getting ready to do a wallpaper. This is my daughter's house. It's going to be my new grandson coming in December. All right, the wall has a light texture, so I'm going to sand it, not completely flat, but get all the high spots down. So Tyson's here, sanding it down, going across the top. We're using 120 grit. And now we're getting ready to do the wallpaper. My daughter bought this wallpaper and it's a peel and stick. So we have something to lay it on. And first thing you do is you go through each roll. They have them marked one through six. And then you peel the paper back about six inches. I checked it all for the sizes and everything. And uh, what I do is put a laser down with my mark that gives it to me on the wall to where it'll return on the other wall about an inch. And I chose to paint inside that corner first. So as the wallpaper goes up, when we paint the wall, that we're not having to cut it into the wallpaper. All right, now you're staying on the line on the right-hand side and we work our way down. Uh, you take the squeegee and you run it down the center. I had already done the top, I'm working down here, run it down the center. And being there's a window here, it's pretty flat and you can see it's lined up really nice with the design. So I just bring that in and make sure it's nice and tight to the corner bead. You can still see the laser line. I have the window sill right there in a the way, it kind of pushes it over a little, but I'll get all that cutting going on. Now you squeegee it off to the corner. This way, getting rid of any air bubbles that may be in there. Uh, work it all the way down and, and go through. Make sure you have a nice, sharp razor knife. Because now you use a straight edge. I'm just going to use my six inch knife, push it into the corner and use your razor knife and start to work your way down in a nice straight line you know, moving the piece, whatever you're gonna use. I happen to use a six inch. It made it a little easier. I have a 12 inch there, but I decided to use this. Now, you, what I did, you see, I, I ran down and then I worked the knife away from the wall so that I can cut that part out. Now I'm gonna do the window side. I'm going right up against the corner bead and you get it started and then it cuts nice and easy and then instead of going all the way down move it to the outside this way you just cut that piece off and get it out of your way don't try and do the whole thing at one time you can see the laser line everything's working out really nice so now i moved on to the second piece i do the exact same thing i use the laser line i get that piece up same thing with the next one and you just keep going through the whole rolls, one through six. This one happens to be six rolls. All right, it's coming out really nice. This wall is really beautiful. It's gonna look good if, for my grandson. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell. I'll see you on the next one.